Our system now has more than 1,500, 1,600 individuals who will be in the system for their natural life. 17 years. Natural life. A life sentence. Two life sentences in 40 years. The, the crime makes a great headline, but behind it's a lot of broken men, you know, that are in pain, that are in shame, regret for the things that we've done. We regret those things. So many of them came out of broken homes. So many of them, as I like to say often, started life uh, with two strikes against them and a broken bat. And so, yes, they made mistakes, but my goodness gracious, the odds were really stacked against them. Why would we want to come alongside of them at this particular point in time in their life to say to them, we think you're valuable, we think you're important, we think you have something to contribute to the building of the kingdom of God. Renal and I went to Angola in August, and we witnessed the changes that God had made in, in the hearts of these men that were in Angola. We just knew that it was something that we had to figure out a way to get started in, in North Carolina. We came back and we spoke to Coach Gibbs about it, and Southeastern Baptist to us was the perfect partner. I had been praying about it for almost a decade and I had seen again what had been done in uh, Angola prison, then later got to see what was going on in Darrington, in Texas, and I saw both programs and I said, we can do this. I, I don't know how we're gonna get there, but we can do this. Not only can we do this, we, we must do this. And so when the folks from Joe Gibbs came uh, to talk with us about it, uh, there was no hesitation on this end at all. We want to see that culture and that string of crime broken in the, in the lives of people across the state of North Carolina. We believe that moral rehabilitation programs get at the heart of, of the real question that every single person, incarcerated or, or, or not incarcerated, asks, and that's, why am I here? What is my purpose? What was I created to do? Imagine a, a field minister who lives with his congregation 24-7. So he may counsel a guy, he may preach a message, he may serve, but the dude ain't leaving. These guys that are eat up with anger and hurt or think they're not good enough for God, they're sitting down there on the yard. Who's gonna reach them? What we're hoping to do is to create a scenario in which when they graduate from this program, they're teamed up with another three or four guys and they're sent out together as teams. And they are the ones who are establishing their culture and we know that they will have the greatest impact on those short-term inmates that are actually gonna be leaving going out in the community. Those guys are gonna be getting out and they're gonna be impacting their families and um, their business partners and friends. And so there's no telling what could come from this. This is an eternal impact. And so for me and the race team here, and this is something that I felt like could be a legacy that could go on forever. You took life sentences, guys that society just cast out and says, we ball that one up, we got rid of him, next. Y'all have taken us and given us a life, a hope, a future. You're not just investing in one inmate. You invest in, in, in our whole system and you can be a part of a life-changing, iconic movement. Natural life of serving others. A life sentence to ministry. Two life sentences and 40 years in ministry. 17 years of ministry. 